Hey, it's Jeremy again. I have another tutorial. This one's gonna be quick. I'm gonna show you how to overcome the problem where your icons or your strokes are scaling and you don't want them to scale up. And a quick example here, as you can see on my artboard, is I have this circle here, right? This is 30 points. This is 30 stroke points, as you can see here. And if I select this one, it's actually 76 strokes. So this is not good, especially if you're working on like an icon pack or you're doing like custom icons um, for a client or something like that, and you need the strokes to be consistent, then you really need to know this tip. And I'm gonna show you how to quickly do that. So we want, we want these to be the same stroke width. So a quick tip is if you go to your transform panel, so if I go to window, transform, you'll get this little box pop up. And in this little box, you can see if you click this menu here, you'll get some options. And you can see here that there's a box called scale strokes and effects. So I'm gonna select this circle and you can see how it's, it's ticked. So if I get this circle or duplicate it really quickly and I'll scale it up, you can see how the stroke points is actually 113, as you can see there. And even if I scale it down, it will go and it will just make it smaller. And I don't want it to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this circle, go back to my transform panel, click on these little the three lines, the hamburger menu, and I'm gonna untick this scale strokes and effects. So we're gonna quickly do that. And I'm gonna scale it. And you can see it's retained the 30 point stroke now. So you can see they're both 30 points now. And even if I scale it really big, or really small, it's gonna keep that same stroke width, which is what we want. Because I know sometimes when I'm working with the icons, I don't want it to do that, or working on an illustration, it gets, uh, it can be frustrating if it keeps doing it, you don't want it to do it. So the transform panels are the really quickest way, and I always keep it on my side here near my artboards, because it's just easy to access. Another cool tip with this as well, is if I go to my preferences, so if you go to the top menu on the left, and click edit, and go to preferences, the shortcut key is also control K to open the whole menu. So if I click on this, you'll get a box pop up. And what we want to go to is just go to general. And now you can see all these boxes, it's a lot of boxes, but we want to go to the right hand side and you can see here, scale strokes and effects. So if you don't want it on, or if you want it off, I just usually leave it off. Then you want to, un if it's ticked, just untick this box and press okay. So then from then on your whole document um, everything you design within that, you know, Illustrator document, it's not going to scale it. So if you just click that, then every time you open a new document, it won't um, scale it, but it will keep it as, you know, as you set it, which is really cool. So yeah, that's just a helpful tip. Um, if you guys didn't know how to, you know, fix this issue, um, but yeah, it's really going to help you out if you're doing icons, illustrations, and you can always turn it off and on really quickly, but it's really going to help you out. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hit that like button if this was helpful or not. Leave a comment on what type of content you guys want to see. That really helps me out. And remember to subscribe because I always upload creative content every week.